guys, Arrow over here at Finest. Today, I am working on drying some of my herbs. Uh, a lot of you guys ask pretty regularly, what do I do with all the stuff I grow? Well, most of it I eat fresh, including a vast majority of the herbs. But when I can grow enough of something to have extra, I like to dry them to use for the winter. So I have already picked I didn't want to drag your camera around with me everywhere. Um, a whole bunch of different things here. This is parsley. What I'm doing now is making bunches and just taking a rubber band and rubber banding the ends together. You could secure the ends with other things, but as they dry, um, the stems are going to shrink. And so the rubber bands are kind of nice because they shrink with them and keep gripping them. I'm just, there's no exact science to this, but I'm making bunches of a size that when I hang them up, some air can still get around and through, and I don't have anything like squished super tight together uh, because I want these to dry quickly. I don't want them to mold or rot or any of that. I want them to dry. And so that's that's a good size bunch for that. I'll probably have just two bunches of parsley here. And as the year goes on, if I get if I don't get frost yet and do get more, I may dry some more bunches. And if you want to know what I do with them after they're dried, I think I did a video on that last year so i'll have to link to that but right now i'm just making my bunches and i just collect the extra rubber bands that come on anything you buy that comes with a rubber band so they're free or you could go buy a bag of rubber bands that looks like another good bunch you're just trying to make sure all the ends are caught in there and then what i'm going to do with these bunches this is tarragon. I don't have nearly as much as that of that, so it's going to be a little bunch. Um, what I do with all these bunches is I, I've dried them in my house before, um, just hang them up there. It's not most ideal because I don't have a ton of space, and um, I also there you know there's light coming in from all the windows, and drying them in the dark is better. This stuff smells amazing. So what I am going to do this time is I've talked to one of my neighbors who has like a really hot attic above their garage and they said they didn't mind if I throw stuff in there because they don't use it really in the summer anyway. So it's dark, no windows up there, no light to get on anything and it is very, very hot. It's, you know, an uninsulated attic so if you've ever been in one of those you can probably imagine. So I'm just simply going to hang these bunches over some nails in that attic and, and probably two days they'll be dry. If I don't get around to getting back up there to grab them again, um, they're going to be there for more than two days. So I've done tarragon, um, rosemary, parsley, and I've got a couple kinds of mint here. I love mint. I've got lots and lots of it growing. This is butt pile is peppermint, and it grows back quite rapidly when you cut it, so I cut off a bunch and I'm going to dry it. Um, I use this for making, you know, mint teas and stuff all winter. I've never been a, a coffee drinker or even like a black or green tea drinker, but I do like herbal teas when it is cold outside, and mints are probably my favorites. So, again, I'm trying to do a bunch there where, you know, I can see there's, there's air that's going to get around all of those leaves so they can dry. And this is basically the same process I use for drying any kind of leafy thing. It works if you're drying dried flowers um, to do flower arranging. It works for herbs. Um, it's just a, a really simple way to dry things. So if you've got any kind of access to a hot and preferably sun-free spot, um, that is most ideal. Like I said, if you don't, you can certainly still dry things. You know, if I just hung these in my house, they'd take a, a week or so because it's much cooler in there. And um, they would lose a little bit of their nutrients to the sunlight, which is, again, not most ideal, but would work and be better than nothing. It'd still probably be much more nutrient dense than buying herbs uh, from a grocery store because a lot of those are dried sometimes, you know, years before you buy them. And so they've lost a lot of their value, sadly. So I'm just kind of collecting stem ends here into bunches. And then I'm going to go hang all these up. In a few days, they will be dry. And I will 
do what I showed you guys last year and kind of crumble off all the leaves because that's bulky. I mean, it's going to look smaller when it's dried, but that's still bulky and I don't really need all the stems and stuff. So I'll kind of crumble all the leaves, put them in a, a jar, put them in the dark in my pantry. Stems just go into the um, compost to become good nutrients for growing more things next year. And then I've got lots of yummy herbs and tea to drink this winter. So oh, maybe that inspires you for a way to use um, some extra things if you've got a, a big bunch of parsley or dill or oregano or whatever herbs you like to cook with that you might be growing. This is a way to preserve excess for use in the whole rest of the year. Let me know what your favorite things are to dry or what herbs you are growing or teas or, wh or whatever. And if you've ever um, dried your own stuff this way. Thanks for watching, folks. If you're interested in more info on my off-grid tiny house life, check out some of my other videos here. And if you like what you're seeing, click the little picture of my house to subscribe and then hit the little bell so YouTube actually notifies you every time there's a new video available. See y'all next time.